very important. You can repeat this message because uh, in time there's a a certain sinking in. Yeah, you never know. Uh, you hear the same thing over and over again, but then there's a hearing of it differently. Yeah, and then hopefully uh, there's a migration of interest where. It just has to be 50% zero, zero, point 0.1 on one side, and then then the the change of you know listening to the head and hearing the head, yeah. So you move, you don't move, but there's a moving from listening to the head and then hearing the head, yeah. And uh, that's truly the basis of relief, and then it becomes almost like a habit where it's very difficult to be pulled back into the listening, yes? There's just a hearing, and just like the listening used to be the dominant thing, and very rarely did you hear it, yeah? Uh, now it's the opposite, yeah? So the hearing, feeling, tasting, smelling, that becomes the dominant uh, event instead of the narration of it, yeah? Sometimes it's quickly, sometimes it's slowly. It doesn't matter, really, because basically, no matter what you think, uh, it doesn't affect what's so, yeah? So you being awake to being awake doesn't change the fact that you're awake, yeah? You can seem to be asleep to it. It doesn't change the fact that you're awake. That's the, that's in a recovery, we have a requirement being convinced, and this is one of those aspects of being convinced, yes? You're convinced uh, to the point you never look what can't be for what can't be found. You just, it's over, yeah? And those tributaries of interest and attention just getting drawn into dead ends, yes? Just going on and on, get withdrawn from that. And now, to me, the sense of presence is undirected interest and attention, yeah? When the interest and attention isn't being directed in time and in space through the uh, mental pointing, yeah? When, that, when that's lost interest, the interest and attention not being moved is presence, really, yeah? So you sense it, it's just not moving interest and attention. And the I am is that which is the basics the basic or the foundation of the I am Paul, yeah? Instead of the I am being interpreted as Paul, now the I am is not being interpreted, yeah? Or there's an interpretation of it, but you're not listening to it anymore, yeah? So the I am, that which is verifying, the mental state uses it to verify that you're Paul, now doesn't go to that uh, chore, yeah? That assignment has been changed, so it's the I am, yeah? So that which has always been on is now on, yeah? It's just not called Paul anymore. So nothing has to change. It's just a, a seeing it differently. It's sort of like, uh, you know, sometimes they have those things where you look at it and then you see a different image in it. It's like a little trick. Well, this is sort of the satsang is like having that become trained, yeah? So when you see the old picture, you get a new image out of it, yeah? You don't have to strain to see it. It's just obvious, yeah? Just like when it's pointed out. You may look at something and you never see that there's like a kangaroo's head there. And then someone finally tells you, hey, there's a kangaroo there. And then you keep seeing the kangaroo, mm -hmm. yeah? That's all you need is the invitation. You have the eyes already. You do, yeah? You flipping out doesn't mean shit, yeah? It means there was a flipping out. And then when there's a flipping out, there won't be a flipping out, yeah? Yeah, but it's the idea of you that gives it length and fucking power, yeah? And that you could be put to better use. You, that you, that energy, that goes to that you, if it doesn't go to that you, will enrich your day, yeah. You'll be enriched instead of enslaved, yeah. Just that simple. So I have faith in satsang because that's how it worked with me. I just went, I heard some people, 
Some people I liked, some people I didn't that much. I read a couple of things. And uh, first, the novelty of the direction was amazing because my mental logic couldn't grok it, couldn't get it, yeah, which is fantastic. It would frustrate the head, which is the point, yeah, because if you keep getting like something that be, that's put into your, your grasping device, you're never going to see it. But when it doesn't, when you give nothing to it, you'll see your devices of trying to know and understand and get it and I, you know, conceptualize it, intellectualize it. When there's nothing there to grasp, you see they're not your devices, yeah? You're not directed by intellect. You're before intellect, yeah? You're before confusion. You're before the clarity. And there's a loss of interest in all that. I don't want to know what I am. I have no fucking interest in it whatsoever because you can't, yeah? All, the only possibility is to be it, and you are it right now, no matter what the head thinks, see? This is what gives you, and you're going to be in a few hours, you're going to be relieved of it with no effort or thought on your part. You're going to go to sleep. <laughs> you know, the extra sketch with all those deep groove tattoo <laughs> lines is going to be shook and then the next day it'll take another form and everything and we we see so much depth in it but there's no depth in it at all yeah it can be erased with just moving the etch a sketch you know stretch in the morning yeah take a few breaths you can change the whole day yeah jump in the water i jump in the water it changes everything Everything that can be changed will change water in, by the water. I thought like the best therapy session would be just take people to the ocean and jump in. They'd forget everything. As soon as they hit that coldness, the, everything would have been forgotten. That they were saying, I felt like this forever. No, they don't. The coldness of the water would override that. Yeah? Yeah. So this is a, I'm really happy we got together. I haven't eaten too much. I'm just stoned out of my mind. Mm -hmm. We had a another cappuccino at the when we <laughs> we made the guy wait who had we picked got, who picked us up in the van to have a cappuccino at the at the station. So uh, I'm just happy that we're all here. And if you have any questions or you want to speak or if you want to go through any topics, I know some people here are into the Course in Miracles. Maybe one day we'll speak something about that, yeah? yeah. And then uh, recovery, if any people are in recovery, we'll speak from there. Because this message, you know, it's not a path to illumination, but it will illuminate whatever path you seem to be on, yeah? And we all have a seat assignment, and this light will illuminate whatever it is. It doesn't have to be a special seat assignment that's meant to illuminate that. It doesn't matter. The illuminating quality is of us, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, like I'm doing a course with puzzle, it's like reading a scripture. Really? Really? It's the same, same. The presence is there, yeah? Crossword puzzle, the same presence than if you were pouring over a scripture. It's the same, yeah? What's studying can't be studied, yeah? What's reading isn't going to be increased by reading. It isn't. Yeah, the reading can sort of point it out and trigger something, but there's no increasing or decreasing that which is. Yeah. So yeah, you, and just be recognized when the something when the head moves, it's not you moving. When the head flips out, it's not you flipping out. There's got to be a distinction. You got to get into the habit of that, because then you're going to be setting yourself in your own trance. You're going to be chanting, yeah, the I, me, my. You've got to watch out. The power of language isn't so much in the language. It's, in up, it's from us, yeah. There's can incantations that are breathed into the language. So every time the head goes somewhere and you, you say it's you, I went, I went up the ass of self. No, you didn't, yeah. I did this. I feel disconnected. No, you're not. Yes, at least start becoming clear about that because if you're listening to a message and then all day you're listening to that message, yes, 
that message is going to override usually because it's on longer. Yeah? It's on longer. You wake up and it's playing that same old tune. And it's telling you, and we mistake mental movement as our movements. Yeah? We think, oh, I'm, I'm, this is one of the biggest things that happened with me. I remembered there was a phase where getting into the moment was really, really big. Yeah, and there was a lot of books were coming out, how to get into the moment. Yeah, and then people would read the book, and then very rarely they'd finish it. You know, they'd just read some parts of it, and it was all predicated on an idea that they could be out of the moment completely. And this is the whole dilemma, you see. We believe we're in something, and therefore we're, we have a desire to get out. The head does, the message is is that which is before the in. We're not another method of getting out. This has no interest in getting out. It has an interest in recognizing you're not in. <laughs> That's where the value lies. This is not a new method of getting out because I remember I read a thing of Dostoevsky, the great writer, Russian writer, and he was talking about his time in like the early, late 1800s, and he's talking about all these like new age things all this spirituality was going on and it was the same thing as what happens now you know before 15 years ago then the ayahuasca came and now everyone is going to go to peru and do ayahuasca and shit i have no problem with that but the thing is it's always going to be something new something added it can't just be buddhism it has to be radical buddhism or extreme fucking something because it's, it's just it's like just putting lipstick on a pig over and over again painting legs on the snake you just gotta you're gonna be bored stiff your head your head is gonna be it's gonna be completely deflated because it wants the specialness it does it's gonna be bummed out after a while that it's not gonna get it <laughs> seriously it's thinking, well, this that's just a subtle way of getting it. No, it's you're not getting it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not going to turn into an experience. No matter how, no, how much you want it to be, it won't. That's the beauty of the message. It doesn't bend itself around you. It demands the you to fucking really stand up there and you'll see through it because you're that which is before the you. We believe we're looking from the you, but you're actually seeing through the you, yeah? Okay. But the mental state claims the seeing and says it's you looking, and then we follow that. And of course, we're not looking the right way, or we're not looking for the right thing, and therefore there's thousands of variations how to look the right way and how to look for the right thing. But all the while before that is seeing, yeah? All the looking in the world is preceded by seeing. Seeing is the looking. It's just given a different name by the mental state. It's that which is seeing, is the looking. So what's, what is, what's looking, which is seeing, is what you're looking for. Yeah? The reason why you can't see it, because you're looking for it. Yeah? You're using the seeing to look for it. The seeing and the looking are the same thing. One's been interpreted or claimed by the mental state, and now it's you looking. But as it, the statement says, what's looking, that you looking is what you're looking for. That's the seeing. Yes? You need the key of the room, honey. Sorry. What are you looking for? <laughs> That's right. She found it quickly. She went to the sauce because she knew I had the key. Exactly. That's the beauty of it. Yeah? You're the sauce. Yeah? Not the sauce, S A U C E, whatever. The sauce, S O U R C E. You're the sauce. What's looking is what you're looking for. Now, when your head hears that, it says, how could that be? But we're not talking about the head. We're talking what's seeing through the head. The, what is seeing, the head claims, and now it's claimed as the head looking. That's all. And therefore, you're using the seeing to look for the seeing. 
You're using the seeing, you're calling it you looking, to look for the seeing. That's why it never works. Yeah? So if you have a tendency, the action figure to flip out, there's tons of skillful means you can learn to limit it, its effects, yeah? And then hopefully when you come back into some kind of sense of ordinariness, you'll recognize, you know, that it came and it went. And then its back will be broken because something will, will be withdrawn from it, which is you. You'll lose interest to you that flips out. You will, yeah? The flipping out has no length. It has no value. It has no power to extend without us behind it. So after a while, you just lose interest, yes? You don't call up everyone, I flipped out. You just lose, just like people call me and they told me, I've disappeared for three weeks. I go, well, who's telling me that? Yeah? <laughs> if you actually disappeared, I wouldn't hear from you. But they, I disappeared for a few weeks. Who arose and claimed the disappearance? It's not you. You did not disappear. You have never appeared. That's the beauty of it. Yeah. So. Mm. And you hear the water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fucking awesome. <laughs> you never get chipped. You're not believing you're out of a moment and working hard to get in. It's done. It's finished. You realize there's no way I can ever be out of a moment, so there's no effort to try to be in. This is what occurs. All the, I do not believe non-duality has an understanding. What it has is, it's an understanding about the misunderstandings, yeah? So those things get cleared up, the misunderstandings get negated, and then basically, there you go, yeah? And then if you have a seat assignment, maybe you have a, a need to have an understanding that you can communicate to. But basically, since I came here, there was no Paul Hedeman satsang teacher. <laughs> it's the hardest thing. That's how it works so perfectly. I had no clue. What the hell am I coming here for? <laughs> I lost myself. My name here is Paul Hedemano in Italy. <laughs> No one has any interest in this message. <laughs> I didn't know everyone. I have no idea what they're saying for a week. Amelia's whole family. I'm just like a fly on the wall. It's great. <laughs> then I come here and my head says, what the fuck are you going to say? Yeah, and thank God I'm not dead because I've never shown up here. Yet I've never missed a Paul Hedeman meeting. But I've never shown up ever. It's fantastic, really. So. If you have any questions uh, or any requests, how you'd like to go this week, we can do a Course of Miracles thing, Mike, if you like. Sure. Yeah, we just got to look it up, that page 468. And Is that stuff. one page? Yeah, that's all. That's all you, that's all you need, really. Well, actually, you know, there's a, just a couple of weeks ago we were reading, and uh, it's interesting how the, there was a section calling it the special function because your specialness will... It will be reversed, so to speak, and the Holy Spirit will give you a special function. I just realized that be a seat assignment. Yeah, it's a seat <laughs> assignment. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Well, anyone in recovery, we can go over that too. Also, yes. Mm -hmm. Obviously, for the people that aren't, uh, well, my this is my feeling. There's an original, and we're using original in the idea of time, yes? The, the original addiction is the mental state's addiction to the idea of being a doer, a thinker, a feeler, a taster, a tough, you know, a toucher, a long-lasting, independent, separate thing, yes? Now, I have done, in the past, a lot of cocaine, and I had a very strange relationship with cocaine, extremely strange. <laughs> I would do anything for it and stuff like that. And uh, yet I never thought, even after 10 days on coke, I never thought I was cocaine. Never crossed that line, ever, never. 
no matter how intoxicated I was, I never thought I was cocaine. But I humbly believe the mental state takes itself to be the drug of self, yeah? That's a, an incredible addiction, yeah? To get be so addicted that you take yourself to be the object of the addiction. We don't take the head, yeah? But that's where it stops, to me. And then, without that being noticed, it drives us to get relief from that, but it's relief for it, yes? We reinforce the idea of self. The more we try to get out of it, the more we reinforce it. It's a very incredible conundrum, yeah? Because it's all going under the, the camouflage of the act of being identified as self. And when I say that, I do not believe there's a you that is in the act of being identified as self. I just believe it's a mental activity which is the act of being identified as self. And every time we go into any mental activity, we find it in the act of being identified as self. Yeah. The only solution is before it, really. You're not going to get out of that if you've been in it. It's not going to work. You have to see you've never been in it. Yeah. It doesn't mean there hasn't been addiction. There just hasn't been a you that's addicted. Yeah. That's the beautiful news, yeah? The great relief here is it doesn't say, okay, like a lot of people I run into, they, okay, I'm going to stop judging, yes? There's no way what you are is going to stop judging. Your whole action figure is based on judgment completely. So this doesn't work, and it actually turns into another way of punishing yourself and setting you up for more defeat, yes? All right, I'm, now that I've seen this, I'm going, no, yeah? This is a solution that's not a, an antidote to the problem. It's completely separated from the problem, yeah? And when, while there seems to be a problem, there's a need for a solution, but this solution, when it's entertained, negates the idea that there was a problem. So basically, there's not even a need for a solution. You're, you're basically just naked and raw. Yet, therefore, it's always available at all times, right where you are, with no requirement necessary. That's an assurance I haven't found in this world. Yeah, I don't believe you're going to find it in this world. I think it, it can be brought into this world through us, but I do not think we can get it in here. Yeah, And that's the beauty of it. It just chills you out. Yeah, You're always available because you're present. And when you're present and available, you're of service. That's just how it goes, yeah? And to see the assignment will become obvious, yeah? Yeah, so I think that's it for tonight, because I can't even see you well <laughs> anymore. Yeah, and, uh, we're video. gonna try to get this a little together, because it would be nice to put yeah, uh, something in the video. <laughs> videos, yeah, <laughs> videos up for <laughs> the other people, you know, whatever. So hey, any any questions about what's going to happen this uh, week? Go ahead and stop. Yeah, we might as well. It just looks like. <laughs>